card in the heavyweight division is scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Referee is Mr. Nils Burskis. Tony cut the mustard. Okay, can we, gentlemen. Can we give him that? I'm sure we're not the first to say it. Uh, he's got an 11. Three rounds of five minutes. You both know the rules. Make it a good and clean fight. Oh, there's a big Shake hands if you like. Oh, you can see that. Stop it. Yeah. But yeah, on the topic of athletes who combat athletes who look out of shape, just look at Tyson Fury. Exactly. Yeah, true. Arguably the greatest boxer of, uh, well, up there in the conversation of all time. Definitely the last 20, 30 years. I don't know about all time, years. maybe the modern era, but, but I don't know about But he's sweet too. It's not just that he hits hard, he moves sweet. Let's see if Tony moves sweet. If Tony Mustard hits you, turns his hip and his, and his core into a right hand, you're going to go down. Arab showing him them feints to see what um, what response he's getting, which is the right thing to do it. Double jab to close distance. Tony tries to swat him away. Quite a tentative start. Uh, Nothing connected so far. That heavyweight, Sufyan, is used to being a little shorter. Uh, that overhand right will get you in there. He didn't touch him with it, but it's a good weapon against a taller man. Full body feints. I think most should be implying a little bit more leg kicks. Uh, you know, being this guy's bigger than him. Um, there you go. Yeah, is it reading Oof. your mind? It's red. Yeah, and he switched it right back. That one. Yeah, the right hand from Sufyan. Well, Arab doesn't look intimidated in any form or shape. He's still looking to get his own stuff up. You know, he's feeling, he's touching, he's looking to, to land that one punch. Hopefully when um, Mustard's coming forward, you know, but I can see it coming, he's looking to set him up. He's very quick as well. Oof. Oh. Sophia maybe needs to keep that left hand a little bit higher. Now that um, Mustard showed that over and right several times to him. There's a that reverberated through the arena then. You get the feeling there's something big coming. From... Oh, punches the leg to bring up to bring up the left hook. Very clever. Yeah, that was a good little move. Good little move by Mustard. Arab's reading the fight right, he's doing the right things, he's looking for his counter shots. I think it's just the timing maybe a little bit off at the moment, but the more he warms into the fight, should it go uh, a little bit longer? I think we're going to see some, maybe a big surprise here, lads. Yeah, I hope so. It's had an intriguing pace. This is Arab is starting to up the ante with leg kicks a little yeah. bit, finding some home for those. Arab, yeah, throwing... Uh, that kicks against the taller man. You know, and, and you can and see on uh, Mustard's left leg, just above the knee, is beat red already. And he's switched back a couple of times because he's got kicked on both sides. And he's used to it, you know. There, he used the right to get to the left hook. Mustard hasn't let anything go. He's doing a lot of gathering of information, which is great. There's a front hand. Are you seeing Mustard striking so far, Coach? He needs to he does, pull on the trigger a bit more. A little bit more. Um, he, he, like I say, he's, he, he's feeling, he's feeling, he's touching, he's looking for that big counter shot. Um, but in the time, he's taking a little bit, you know, too much, um, not too much Ooh. punishment. But like that yeah. there now, you can see, you know, there is there is talent there. There is, he yeah. is looking for that opening, you know, That's picking it. Um, and I, I mean, like I say, um, Arab needs to be maybe kicking the legs a little bit more now um, to try and bring that guy down a little bit more, maybe um, to get that overhand right going on against the taller opponent. But, um, you know, Mustard still, you know, doing his thing. Yeah, they're both in the fight. No one's no one's taken full lead so far. Pretty even. Yeah, even. But should I have to pick? I'd, I'd give it. Um, Sofian. I'd, yeah, Sofian for his, his, his a little bit more better work rate. Yeah. Yeah, those, even those trying there, he forces him down to his 
to his butt. And if you were in doubt, you know, now he's still the one sort of getting his way. Yeah, effectively, even though it wasn't a full takedown, he still completed the goal that he set yeah. out to achieve. And yeah, that will, if it wasn't in doubt before, this should tilt around. Come on, action, around. guys. I right. think Mustard will be contented to hold his position yeah. and hope that the referee stands him back up. And in 15 seconds, if you don't get stood up, but you hold it, yeah. you didn't take any damage. Yeah, no you know? damage, that's right. And I think if Mustard loses the round, he's looking for a sweep, actually. Good for him. And he lands a couple on the moment. That's a really smart little Time. sequence. Wow. Put yourself both in a position to stand and then throw punches. Well, so if Arab thought he was going to uh, mm. walk through him now, obviously he's realizing now it's, it's not going to be that easy. Um, Mustard, for me, you know, he's, 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 he's doing the right things, showing yeah. the right moves. He just needs to imply a little bit more work rate on his movement. I mean, as he's in there, he's yeah. checking the kick, yeah. he's feeling, he's touching, he's looking to set up. But in the meantime, he's letting the Sufyan get off with too many leg kicks on him. Uh, made that move where he, he, he fainted low and then came back up high. That so, um, that, that left, left kick to the body was a nice one by Big Tony Mustard. And then they rotate around him and then immediately get up. That was very crafty, actually. Very, very crafty. Unexpected. One second. He's, out. He's, One he, second around. He's got some fight smarts, does Tony Mustard. You know, some awareness and some sensibilities. That's with that crafty old veteranship. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that in him. Okay, second round. Fight! And you know, I mean, they, they kept the pace that they both wanted, but... Five minutes through, speaking of body types and, and not uh, not judging books by their covers, I mean, he was not, ex you know, extensively tired at the end throwing punches. Yeah, they're being very conservative with their energy. Maybe they're looking for uh, maybe if it goes to a third yeah. round, then you'll see them start, you know, stepping up. But as the pace is now, it suits the two of them because they're not exerting. No one's really exerting, pushing the issue. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Big right over the top. And that got Mustard's attention. And Sufyan, if you were his coach, you know, you could consider telling him to turn it up. But if he's already winning at this pace, that's right. You if know? they broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and that's it, especially when you see, as uh, Dave has described, Tony Mustard just looking for those counters, just wanting that big one yeah. shot to come through. Why, you know, force the pace when exactly he's winning? Yeah, we're winning. They're calling for that outside leg kick again, and Tony heard him, so he stepped back. But you can see his left knee area and soft tissue around the knee is very red, and so is his right. I mean, it could be his skin tone too. It's like certain people's skin tones show wear more than others, but but both those legs in the soft areas behind the knee look a little rough. Yeah. Oh, a little eye poke. Fight! Tony is still blinking a little bit with his yeah. right eye. Doesn't look comfortable. If Arab uh, you know, goes for a left overhand or something around here. He's gonna, he's gonna lead that right over the top. No, instead, he, he was selling it, he was showing it. Hey, I'm gonna throw this right hand at you. I bit, and instead he came under for the single, but now he's got the Oh, neck. he's got a guillotine, has he locked it in? He's locked it in, yeah. you know? I we think he's got it. Well, yeah, we said this was a crafty veteran. And I think that was the groin, but uh, oh. he, he had it. Very nice work from Arab. I guess a situation where that low center of gravity just mm. enabled him to pull out and stop him being his neck and spine being stretched out. Yeah, and the traps protect him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, of course yeah. he has no neck to be guillotined <laughs> exactly. with. The traps kind of protected the arteries. Arab needs to get back to, the, there you go, back to those leg kicks, which is his, his bread and butter with the, along with that overhand right. That's what he's, he's, he's had the main success of. You know, um, but again, um, Mustard needs to get a little bit more engaged, a little bit more busy, you know? He's, he's giving away this fight with um, 
you know, he's too content at keeping his distance looking for that one counter shot. You know, maybe he should double up on the jab and then may gamble with that straight right hand, you know, you know, put a little two, three punch combination here and there together instead of just a single, single, single. And he's only feeling with that jab. He's not, there's nothing coming from behind it. It's interesting. Oh, there it is. A right hand to the body to, to measure that left hand. Yeah, Arab seems to start, he seems to have found his range a little bit more now with his hands. Coach, there's so many myths in fighting. Uh, people always over exaggerate the placement of the front foot in Southpaw versus Orthodox. But we're seeing Arab actually move to the inside line against uh, uh, when um, uh, Mustard is Southpaw. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, it, it, it depends on the fighter how, how, how he thinks his way through a fight, you know. You know yourself in the conventional orthodox southpaw, the southpaw, the orthodox has got to keep the foot on the outside and vice versa. Um, uh, Mustard keeps changing stance, um, Arab is, you're neutralizing that with obviously them leg kicks, them overhand rights. Um, yeah, so, you know, he's doing what, if it ain't broke back to, you don't fix it. It is a close er round, I think, but I still think if you're Sofian Arab, Arab, you think you've won the, both rounds. Yeah, from what I've seen in these these two rounds, the leg kicks and the overhands, that, that's what's won him. Oh, oh and that down. Yeah. If there wasn't any doubt before, just that yeah. takedown at the end. Yeah, yeah, that secured the round definitely. Yeah. Precisely. It'll be interesting to see whether yeah, Tony Mustard now, he knows he's only got one round left, maybe he's conserving energy being the older man, yeah. whether he comes out and tries to put some pace on well, or is just happy to... Well, you know, we, we don't know what shape is he looking at him. People say, well, he doesn't look in shape. So two rounds are down. Now he's got what he's got to lose. He may as well go for it now, you know, um, leave it all hanging out there now. Got to push Aaron, put him... You know, it's one thing with a fighter coming when you're on the back foot constantly. So let's see if, if Mustard pushes the issue, issue and puts um, um, Arab on the back foot. Is he the same fighter? We don't know, but you know, Mustard needs to take that gamble now and, and, and try that, you know, why not? Yeah, and listen to, there was one moment where, you know, you mentioned in that fight, Dave, that Mustard was just not throwing it, not putting anything behind his now, just jabbing, yeah. jabbing. He did, he put a right of a hand behind it once and it connected. That's right, there you go. He's got to look to set up a two, maybe three punch combination off that jab. Maybe even finish with a leg kick off the combination, even a jab leg kick. But he's got to do something from just that simple, little casual jab here and there. Yeah, chain together, one, two, three, four rounds. Okay, guys, final round. One. Fight! Here we go. Third and final round. Tony Mustard is in the grey. Sufyan Arab is in the all orange trunks. Currently, Arab, by our estimation, even though you never know what's going to happen with the judges, is most likely two rounds ahead. So this is hopefully Mustard's corner told him the rough situation. We'll see if he yeah. gets any more energy involved. And he's been around. He's This is his 20th fight. He's had some other combat sports, you know, experiences as well. So he should be aware on his own. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm owning these rounds, you know? Sing, two single jabs in quick succession. Yeah, and he absorbed uh, sort of a glancing overhand right during that. How many, how many fights did you say Mustard's had? This is his 20th. So he has been around. He's been in these situations there. Front kick. Oh, not shot by the seams of it. Even though okay, stop the time. There you go. White, white, white. Ouch. That looks Just a little, okay. little penis teeth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you call them? Okay, fight is ready. <laughs> fight! Covers. Still just tapping, exploring, but nothing of much consequence. Lagging yeah. <laughs> apart from there. Oh, this is what Mustard has been waiting for, is 
is it to open up a little bit, see if he can find a moment. He should, he should go again now, you know? I mean, mm. you know, um, Arab exploded on him, you know, made him have to react. So, like I say, let's, Initiate. Push, let's push Arab on the back foot. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, and if he, ju he just threw four or five looping punches, so he might have to, he might be looking for a, a two, three, four, five second break to gulp a little air. So it's a good time to throw at him. So halfway through the third and final round, progressing much as like much as though the previous two. Yeah. Arab maybe having roughly the edge, but not by much. But Mustard being a little bit tentative with his strikes. And Mustard being, you know, like you say, 25 veteran, he should know now. Well, look, mm. you know, I've got what? Okay. Two minutes. Two minutes to go out, do my thing. Let's have a go. Go yeah. for it. Is, the, is it a case of back to a journeyman who's come just to survive or is he come to win? Yeah. You know, looking at this, I think he just comes to be happy to see the fight out. No major injuries, no major drama. Collect his paycheck and he's gone home. Yeah, and even when... <laughs> when, 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 when he throws the kicks, there. even when that might be the case in the second round or, you know, as you get... Sometimes you can just say to yourself, hey, I got two minutes now. That's you know, right. If you told me I'd be 13 minutes into a fight uninjured and in a situation to throw free, it's time to throw free. Exactly. And I'll say, that, uh, you don't know, let's get Arab on the back foot and, and see how he reacts, you know. You know, go for it. And this is, the only way he's going to do that is by throwing a two, three punch combination, you know, finishing yeah. the combinations with leg kicks, change your angle, go again, and, and, and see what results you get. You've got to try things. You've got to gamble as a fighter sometimes. It's Arab that's... Uh, Taking the odd gamble in here, trying to get to the chin with the right hand. And now going again with one minute remaining. If he takes him down again, it will just be a repeat of rounds one and two. Edge it out on the feet and then get a takedown near the end to control the last minute. Very clever fighting. Wonderful, wonderful IQ from a 25-year-old. Uh, and at different times, you know, I don't think he's sort of found this, his way through a fight so, you know, so patiently before. Must have just delivered a decent body kick, to be honest. Um, and Arab disguised it well, but that one got through. Yeah. You feel those? It's probably been his most potent weapon. He's landed yeah, for the back. left. Yeah, the left body kick. Oh, 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 oh. He was moving away from the right. There he goes, leg again to the left hook. A fake takedown to a hook. Yeah, I think Must have just conceded just to see the fight out with no drama. But from Arrow's point of view, it's a learning fight for him, you know? Definitely against a dangerous veteran opponent. 15 good minutes of experience, yeah. 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 Oof. Oh. Oh. Jesus, <laughs> just, he is. Load the legs, go. explode, explode, explode. When he lands one of those yeah. in, the, in the next few fights, you're going to see people go to sleep. You would not want to be the recipient no. of something like that. I can tell you that for free. But a fight slightly slow paced, but lots of tactics going on. You can see some of the highlights here. There's a real Mike Tyson load to those hooks. Just load, explode, load, explode. Yeah. Helps that squat body type. Yeah. Just so powerful. Yeah. Snuck that one through, but his man was fading out to his own uh, right. Yeah, mustered a little bit too. Um to blase about it. Um, yeah. Like I say, even even if he was trying to reserve energy for the last, what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, yeah. he should have just uh, had a go. At those last ones, actually, when they showed that angle, uh, Sofian's each punch he threw, Tony's leaned back and popped him back. And I think that's what he was patiently waiting for, was some moments to, to, to lean away and land, but they came too late. Yeah. Round your applause, ladies and gentlemen, for both fighters, Tony Mustard and uh, Sufian Arab. We're not thought three rounds of five minutes. We've counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in the red corner, Sufian Arab. Uh, the three judges agreed with us. Yeah. And a great experience for.
for Sofia and I.